In the early noughties, Lazio midfielder Stefano Fiore was a thorn in the old lady's side. It's not that common to grab a brace against Buffon or to score a goal in the Coppa Italia final. Six memorable goals against Juventus, he was the man Bianconeri defenders dreaded to see. Obviously, it was nothing personal against Juve. It was just that when I faced them, I had luck on my side. Every time I played against them, I felt something special. I just had a good vibe, and that always led me to score goals and produce some great performances. Of course, it wasn't always that easy. Otherwise, Juve would have signed me back then to put an end to my goals against them. Fiore is now a member of the coaching staff at Pescara, a side in Serie B where the 45-year-old's former teammate Massimo Otto is head coach. Massimo asked me if I was willing to come and be part of his coaching staff. I was very happy to accept, in part because we're friends and also because I was really thrilled to get back on the training pitch after so much time and experience it all once again. What he experienced in his 18-year career as a player was certainly thrilling. Versatile and creative, Fiore featured for 11 different teams. He won two UEFA Cups at Parma, but it was in Rome that he found his real home. I was a player with good technique. I liked making runs from deep, attacking the goal. When it came to defending, I was rather more reluctant. I have no doubt my time at Lazio was the peak of my career. It was probably the most rewarding experience personally as well. I won more with Parma in the previous seasons, but during those years at Lazio, I developed a true bond with the fans, with these colours, with this club and its amazing history. Football has evolved since Fiore's retirement in 2011. But though the game's faster, the skills that made him famous haven't gone out of fashion. The more technical side of the game is still what I enjoy the most. When I see players like Luis Alberto invent something out of nothing and breeze through an entire backline with a forward run, that kind of vision that only world-class footballers have, well, my eyes light up. I still believe that fans buy tickets and flock to stadiums because of these players. Lazio welcome Juventus to the Stadio Olimpico on Sunday. And even if Luis Alberto is an injury doubt, Fury expects the midfield battle to be the key factor in what was once his favourite match. I've always thought that Lazio have Serie A's best midfield. They have a perfect blend. Juve's midfield, meanwhile, is more of a mystery. Pirlo is still working on it. There's a lot of quality in there. They're just missing a player that can bring some balance. This is where the match could be decided. But you've always got to keep an eye on the strikers. A player like Ronaldo could turn a difficult game back in Juve's favour on his own with a single flash of brilliance. I expect a lot of goals. 